these are the pens I've purchased from Amazon. Lamy Safari pens. I have one in like a highlighter yellow, really bright yellow. And then I have another one in the pink color. Duh. I don't know why I paused. I thought it had a different name, but it's just pink. Um, you can find these on Amazon. And you can also find these at Gula Pens or Jet Pens. Um, Lamy, or even at the Lamy website. So you can tell here, these pens are in two different nib sizes. And this has a more blunt end and then one is pointy. And this is actually in the medium size. And this is the 1.5. Okay, so this pen is actually like a calligraphy type pen. And I am only using cartridges for this pen. So you just get the Lamy cartridges, stick it in there, and you're good to go. And the cool thing about Lamy is that the cartridges are large. They contain a lot of ink. So you don't have to switch them out as often. And actually, I think I've only, this is like my very first cartridge I used. And I bought this pen almost probably like eight, nine months ago. So... <clears throat> Just to give you an idea, here is the pink Lamy Safari pen in medium. So <clears throat> those are the two I purchased from Amazon. Okay, moving on is my purchase from Jet Pens. I want to go into the Twisby Mini, and this is in the black. And this pen is small, but it's heavy. And when I compare it to the Kaweco, it's not as small, and it's not light. Um, it's almost as heavy as a almost as heavy as the Monteverdi pen. Um, I guess if it were a little bit longer, it'd probably be almost the same weight. But it has that nice feel, like expensive feel. And plus this pen isn't as cheap as some of the others. So it does have a twist top and you cap it with a twist. And when you have it, um, what's the word? What can I think? Posted, that's the word. When you have it posted, it feels like a regular size pen. I liked really big, thick pens, and now that I'm learning a lot more about fountain pens, I'm really enjoying the fine fountain pens. And uh, this is a Twisby Diamond Mini Classic Fountain Pen, and <clears throat> I don't know if you can buy this pen as a with cartridges because it seems. It, and um, don't quote me on that, but this one is a converter built into this pen. So you buy it already built in. And you can, again, change out your inks. You can see how much ink you have in there. And it does actually um, contain, a, like, have a large quantity of ink in comparison to some others that are converters. So it's a Twisby. And I have purchased the Pilot Vanishing Point pen. 
Um, I had always wanted a pen like this because at my job, I need quick access to it. The only thing is that these pens are very expensive. And after I purchased it and took it to work, I was like, I'm not gonna use this at work because I'm afraid it, I may forget it somewhere, drop it or mishandle it somehow and it would break and get damaged. And so I decided just to keep this one at home because it is my most expensive fountain pen. Now this one I did purchase from Jet Pens. It is in the black matte color. Um, it's very sleek looking and it is pretty heavy. Um, this is in the fine nib. You can see the nib here. Very fine. And um, I forgot to mention when comparing the extra fine to a fine nib, the Twisby Diamond Mini writes mm, probably a tad bit better than the Noodler's Nib Creeper for being an extra fine pen. Now this Pilot Vanishing Point writes very smooth for being a fine pen. I think even smoother than my um, Koweco pen. Um, it just has a nice expensive feel and then I th think I only I didn't get the converter just the cartridges for this pen because I don't want to have to worry about ink getting over the mat although I could just wipe it away but I want to keep it as clean as possible so that is the pilot vanishing point fountain pen from jet pens and they have the Monte Verde uh, I can't remember the name because I actually won this at Goulet Pens um, for their Thanks giveaway that they have in November. Um, if you were to place an order sometime in November for the month of November, um, they randomly select one of their customers to win um, something of that day. And that day it was a new, the Monte Verde pen so I did win this um, pen and it came with a cartridge and so I can't really demonstrate this because it came with the cartridge and I didn't buy any cartridges and these are the short cartridges so you can see it's like practically empty I haven't really used it that much I don't know if it's just because it's so heavy and it looks like I don't know it's it's a nice pen, it's just, it looks really fancy and not something I really gravitate towards when I wanna write something down. Um, so that's that pen, which was from Goulet Pens. Let's see, now if you're looking for, if you are a beginner and you're looking to start off um, with fountain pens but you don't know if you like them yet, I would start off with the fountain pen platinum preppy these pens are very inexpensive for a fountain pen um, you can get them from Amazon they also sell them you know online at Goulet pens and at uh, jet pens oh, can I write that? Oh, pretty much out but these pens are reusable um, you just have to buy the cartridge and you can see in here that my cartridge is pretty much empty. It is a push top and then you just fill it with the cartridge. And the pen is pretty much made of plastic. It's lightweight, but it gives you an idea of um, how much you like, if you, you know, want to continue and start collecting fountain pens. And so that's that. Now, my last demonstration of pen will include 
fountain pens I purchased from Happy Scrappy. Now Happy Scrappy is an online store. I bought a couple of fountain pens from her because I thought they were so cute and they were so inexpensive, like $4 for these things. And I was so surprised that when I started writing with them, they are like smooth as butter. They write almost as nicely as this Pilot Vanishing Point pen. The only thing is that I don't have names for them because they came from overseas and she didn't, they don't, she she didn't like give a, an actual name, but I do see that this is a Jin Hao pen. And the cool thing is that she put hashtag girl boss on there. These and kind of show you, they're all fine nib. Um, and this is very similar looking to the Lamy Safari pens. You can kind of see um, it is a plastic body like the Lamy so you could tell that the nib on here is very fine now I do not have a converter in here Oh wait, or do I? Hold on, let's see. Did I get the... Oh yeah, I do. It, okay, that's the even the other cool thing, is that it comes with a converter. Wow, and I just got ink all over my fingers. Um, and this is not a twist top, it's actually a push-in. Moving on to this one. I don't know what to call it. So I like this one. And it, it pushes in. And it, it's almost like you have to apply a lot more pressure than some of the other push pins. Like the um, Lamy Safari. You just push it in lightly and it just snaps in. But this one, you kind of have to give a little bit more pressure. And then I have this one, which is very cute. It has balloons on it. It's very thin. And then it kind of, when you post it, kind of s subtly sits on top. And I'm writing forest story. Because it says forest story on the side. I'll write balloon pen now this one is a little bit scratchy if you're getting too far at an angle on this pen but overall for being just a few dollars it snaps in it's really it's a really nice pen and that Almost concludes my fountain pen collection. Um, I do have one more pen that I don't have with me at the moment, and it is the Pilot Pereira. And boy, do I have to tell you that that pen writes like butter. It is so smooth um, on almost any form of paper. I hope you guys like my demonstration. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I will try to answer them the best I can. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching and I know this is a long video, um, so if you did reach the end, thank you for watching and um, Please subscribe if you want to see more videos and like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more similar to this. And I will catch you next time. Bye.